My name's Jason Holmes. I'm the principal of Harrison School in the north of Canberra. Uh, it's a school of around about uh, 1,700 students and it's quite a diverse population that we have at the school. So we have around about 4% uh, of our students who are identified with a disability. The diversity we have in our population is an absolute strength. And one of the things we have found as the school has developed is that that diversity has enabled us to actually start thinking about inclusion across our whole community. Um, and that's been a really rich experience for our staff. Being a new school, so only seven years old, part of our process two years ago was to refine from where we started. So we involved the whole community in a refining process to talk about our school vision, values and our intent. And through that, we created and channeled our vision a bit more into inspire, personalise and learn. And that's where the journey of inclusion really comes into personalising for every student. So this was about having systems and structures in place where the needs of every single student could be met. Harrison School has a structure of inclusion support unit. In this unit we have our day split into five lessons. So the students will spend the first two lessons in the, in the unit here. They'll spend the next two sessions in their homeroom with their peers and the last lesson back in the learning support unit. But they will also get to spend time if their class has any um, extra activities such as Japanese or sport, they'll go back and join their classes for those. One of the structures we have in place is around really clearly identifying what the needs of our students are. And so we're looking at them, our students, of what they can exhibit in the learning support unit, but also what will give them the opportunities for success in the classroom. So we have structures um, and supports in our team meetings where LSU teachers and classroom teachers can talk together about students and look at, okay, this is what we see in the LSU, this is what we see in the homeroom classes, where are the connections and where are the gaps so where do we then need to target the learning um, next and our aim is to be giving more and more access to the content so as we move along the learning capabilities continuum we're giving our students more access to the content but we need to know exactly where they are so those discussions around data walls or around the achievement that they're showing or have been observed in the classroom is really important so that you're targeting at point of intervention rather than um, trying to adapt um, the classroom situation to the student, you're looking at what the student can actually bring to the classroom situation and have that um, starting from strength um, opportunity. Okay, so we're going to talk about Nathan's um, ILP goals and where he's up to at the moment, but why don't we start with his learner profile that'll give us the big picture. We have an ILP in the first term um, and we set the goals for the year. We have long-term goals, which is end of year result, um, and there are short term goals. We're reassessed again, middle of the year, so at the beginning of term three, to see how he's progressed. And if anything else, any of the goals need to be changed to help get that end result, then we will have another meeting and to see how we've gone for the year. And that will sort of give the teachers a bit of an indication, okay, this is where he's at. So thinking for next year, okay, this is sort of, what we're going to have to put in place for at the beginning of the year to get him into the classroom right at the beginning of the year. So when planning experiences for the children in the learning support unit, we go to the general capabilities and the achievement standards and the learning continuum and we look at where the student is at and sort of plan from that point. For example, at the moment we've planned an activity for our two groups of students where they'll come together and have a cafe experience. They'll take turns in being waiters. They'll take turns in being a customer. So in that, they're going to learn um, how to speak to each other in, with the right, um, asking the right, right questions depending on their role. There'll be lots of waiting time. So they're learning about waiting and taking their turn. They'll learn um, how to record information. So we'll be able to get examples of where their writing is up to by writing their own name and writing a peer's name. So we'll be able to look at letter formation, which are all the things that we get off the learning continuum. 
one um, of the really affirming things around the vision that we have for our students, for all of our students at Harrison, um, was a parent of a child um, with a diagnosed disability. And she said she's really hoping that one day her daughter is identified as the person that she is rather than the disability that she has and that we talk about her strengths and her interests um, rather than talking about the difference and the disability that she has. And, and that fits with the idea of inclusion giving all of our students an opportunity to start from success and to build their learning from a point of success and the support that comes in um, to help them take that little step further.